obviously if it's loose, you would see some looseness uh, right away. You would usually see a little bit of rust stains around. Uh, but most of the time, what we're looking for is smoothness and consistency and resistance in the U-joint. So the U-joint, when it performs, there shouldn't be any resistance in this direction. I shouldn't say any resistance. There's always going to be some resistance, but there should be reasonable resistance. And it should be equal this way and then rotate at 90 degrees and this way. So, and the other thing what we wanna do is you wanna feel how as it moves up and down, there shouldn't be any spot with a difference in the resistance, how it moves. It should be absolutely smooth. And if there's a spot, that's a bad sign. I have the front drive shaft, which we position here. And I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna move it up and down, turn it. And this has a lot less movement this way, which is fine. There's a limiting factor there, but you don't wanna have any uh, spots of uh, difference in the way that it moves. And I can feel a little bit right there so this front drive shaft i can actually feel it it just boom pop, pops right in the middle it just has a um a spot with a difference re difference in the resistance which contributes to the way the drive shaft behaves and it contributes to a little bump every rotation that bump by itself does not really do anything but when these bumps are amplified well, when they're overlaid on each other, depending on the speed of the drive shaft, and then when it hits the resonating frequency, that's when we start feeling the vibrations.